All right, with just the Ravens and the Commanders scheduled to play tonight on Monday Night Football for preseason week two, Kenny Pickett is one of the hottest rising quarterbacks in the NFL right now in the sports card market. And so I've got you guys covered with the top 10 takeaways, the top players going up right now after preseason week two. Let's dig in. All right, now real quick, before we hop into this list, I wanted to challenge you guys to a thought exercise. If you think about it, a lot of the players that are going up right now are players that we're seeing highlights from, we're seeing playing time from. Therefore, that leads to the a lot of the actual starters and elite players in the NFL in a little bit of a lack of hype window. Let me know in the comment section below, have you seen a dip on any of these elite players that have not been playing in the preseason? All right, now let's jump into the list. Number one is Jordan Love, who continues to have a really strong preseason going 5 for 8, 84 yards, and a touchdown to rookie wide receiver Jaden Reed. He had 137.5 quarterback rating with a long pass of 42 yards to Romeo Dobbs. And this is a primary example of starters not starting in the preseason. Look at Jalen Hurts' prism here, down 10% to a current trend of 117.45, and I guarantee you that was in an auction earlier this week. Look at that. Yesterday, last night, 102.50. That's what's dragging that down. That was an absolute snipe, whoever got it. That's not too far off from what the Jordan Love is. He's got a trend of 72.50. That's an 8% increase. Looking at these base graded cards or the Optic Hollow with a, uh, a current trend of around 160s. Not a whole lot of those, so it's hard to get transactions. You can see that base Donners for Jordan Love up 5%, but down 4% for Jalen Hurts. And that goes back to the lack of playing time. But look at this transaction for Jordan Love just two days ago. A, a National Treasures rookie patch out of 10 gold RPA BGS 8.5, but nine and nine on the auto. So no 10s here anywhere. And this thing sold for $7,100 in auction on Saturday. That was game day for Jordan Love. So the big ticket transactions are a plenty. Here's the 2000 throwback, the iconic Tom Brady rookie year. Out of 25 PSA 10 best offer accepted, ultimately selling for $4,200. Illustrates how hyped up Jordan Love is right now and how his market is ascending. So we're going to have quite the clash in week one with the Packers playing the Bears. Number two is once again Deuce Vaughn. And last week he was at the number one spot. He continues just rocket shipping his way in value up after another impressive touchdown run against the Seahawks. Chronicles draft picks gold standard out of $199 for $125. The Deuce Vaughn immaculate collegiate premium patch out of 99 RPA here for $140. Let's compare that to Jackson Smith Najigba, the top wide receiver taken this past draft. Also had a great game this past weekend. So he's definitely towards the, the later end of this list just because if you look at the comparison between Deuce Vaughn's value on a comparable card and that of JSN, you can see why Deuce Vaughn's prices are so high right now. So it makes 100% sense to flip them. It also makes sense to potentially target Tony Pollard. <clears throat> uh, so this gives you a great idea. He's immaculate college rookie auto out of 49 for 155 for JSN. Number three, speaking of running backs, Bijan Robinson makes his debut. The number eight overall pick this year, looking like everything he was drafted for. He ripped off a 12-yard run with two broken tackles along the way. He added a one-handed grab to boot. You can see this Panini Nationals. These are one of those cards that came out of those silver or gold packs at the National in Chicago. Seven out of ten. Best offer accepted from $600. We do have a pro uniform and a rookie card shield, plus that low serial number and that rookie auto. That was ultimately discounted to $325. Still a very impressive transaction. You also have this Leafed Bijan Jameer Gibbs one of one dual auto here from Leaf for $600. Another gold Bijan from Panini National. 7 out of 10. Very nice bonus with the jersey match. Very cool looking card. Reminds me a lot of Metal Universe from the late 90s. 
This one was ultimately accepted for $400. Some very cool cards came out of the National this year for the rookie class, but only a select few rookies. Do not expect to find these for any of the deeper, later round draft guys. So you can see that actually Bijan is still probably uh, trading for much higher than Deuce Vaughn on average, but when you combine how late Deuce Vaughn was taken in the draft compared to Bijan, it is quite impressive, and that's why ultimately Deuce is at number two on this. Hey, Sandy on the football card quest. If you're enjoying this video, make sure you hit that like button. And quick reminder, we are releasing exclusive content to our premium members only, whether it's through Patreon or YouTube memberships. Now you can get those early week targets that we're targeting for week one, plus in the weeds on specific listings, helping you guys find those specific listings that are going to yield the best return on investment and get you accelerated if you're new to this if you want to get up to speed with the rest of us that are parlaying our fantasy knowledge with making money on football cards check that out in the description below you get access to all kinds of other cool stuff including the web app you just saw in the discord and fantasy football leagues and giveaways and all kinds of other stuff so definitely want to check that out and i appreciate you guys now back to the action Number four is Kenny Pickett. He completed three of four attempts for 43 yards, including a perfect pass up the seam that was the entirety of the offense's second scoring drive. He put it perfectly on Pat Fryermuth after a big Calvin Austin punt return had set up the offense with a short field. The Steelers' starting offense has looked outstanding so far in the preseason, and Kenny Pickett a big winner of this preseason in terms of quarterback football card value his base prism psa 9 so not even a 10 plus it's a base card 32 dollars and a buy it now just to compare desmond ritter who did okay he had an unlucky interception this game but look at his base prism psa 9 1999 and even further, we can go and compare the values between Brock Purdy and Kenny Pickett. Yeah, you see his PSA 10, $90 up 3%. We will be talking about Brock Purdy more in here in just a second. But look at his PSA 9 again. That card going for a little bit less than that $30. So you can see how uh, hyped really Kenny Pickett is. He is uh, doing very well right now in the market. There are a good chunk of hobbyists out there that are investing in very high-end Kenny Pickett cards like this $20,000 one-of-one National Treasure Shield Auto. Absolute banger. What about this one-of-one one National Treasures Nike Swoosh? $15,200. And I'll leave you with one more from three days ago, a 2022 Prism Gold 1 out of 10 PSA 9 that sold for $6,918. Now make sure you guys stay tuned to the end because I've got some other interesting takeaways of players that I do think are going to emerge in the NFL uh, as considerable factors for their offense, but they didn't quite necessarily make the top 10 list, and I'll explain why. Just make sure you stay tuned to the end. Now we have some honorable mentions in this game. Of course, Pat Fryermuth is one. He's a guy moving up in my rankings. He is a guy that I think is going to perform outperform his ADP this year uh, you can see the appreciation in his rookie cards now a base rookie ticket auto for $20 we know the floor is about $10 on that card beautiful origins horizontal with the nice patch rookie auto here going for 31 out of 49 I don't think that card uh, it, it did as well as if, if it was a vertically formatted nice RPA from Immaculate National Treasures flawless um, or even some of the other mid-tier sets uh, here's another rookie ticket auto that is sealed from panini thirty dollars with free shipping so you can see quite a few transactions here going down for pat fryermuth over the weekend still relatively low all things considered george pickens he is a player that continues to pick up hype and steam heading into the season prism no huddle here eighty dollars plus ten dollars shipping so essentially this person played paid close to a hundred dollars for the silver disco, terrible uh, photography too as well, but it is sealed by Panini. Does have that George Pickens penmanship there in black Sharpie on the card. Um, or you have a teal rookie ticket auto out of 99, $115. 
George Pickens is definitely in that Chris Olave, between Chris Olave and Garrett Wilson type of range in terms of how expensive his cards are. But my number five guy actually from this game, he's also on the Steelers, believe it or not. It's Jalen Warren, man. This guy is going to be a major factor in this offense. He ripped off a 62-yard touchdown run on only one carry. So he continues to just absolutely dominate when giving the opportunity. And we know Najee Harris has got a mean stiff arm, and he's going to be a factor in the regular season as well. He's going to get the bulk of the work, but I think it could be way more of a 50-50 split, especially when Jalen Warren looks this freaking good. Uh, you can see his base rookie ticket auto is about $30, and the floor for those cards is about $10. You can get like a Tyquan Thornton or you know, a Tyrion Davis price for you know, just five to 10 bucks. National Treasures out of 35, 66. That is a solid transaction. Still leaves a lot of room for upside at 66. Another rookie ticket auto sold today. Best offer accepted. Look at that, around $20. So you can definitely see uh, the cards are climbing. The demand for them is climbing. Like this Dragon Skills Prism out of 89, going for around $30 just yesterday on Sunday. Or an Obsidian. Out of $199, going for $44 on Monday night. That is actually pretty impressive. We got a defensive spotlight here for Joey Porter Jr., defensive back for the Steelers, who made a nice interception. Ended up giving the interception to his dad, who also played for the Steelers. So we have an incredible storyline here brewing for Joey Porter Jr. He doesn't have very many rookie cards. He does have quite a few base cards that are, are now out. He's got Redemptions in 2023, Immaculate. People are paying around $60 for those RPAs out of 99. So it's not like this guy is totally obscure. There are quite a few collectors already seeking out his rookie cards like this Bowman Chrome University. First, Gold Lava out of 50 Closed for $51 just yesterday in auction. The floor for these Bowman University first silver autos is about $15. So the fact that this one went for well above the floor definitely is very interesting. But my number six guy is actually on the other side of the ball in this game as well. And that's Dalton Kincaid, man. He had a couple very nice plays, breaking wide open, showed great route running over the middle and totaled three catches for 45 yards on four targets. So he averaged 3.46 yards per route run and looked like a formidable receiving weapon that could have quite an impact in one of the highest octane teams in the NFL with one of the most valuable quarterbacks in the NFL, Josh Allen. So you can see this futures RPA out of 25 here. Sick card from Legacy with some nice stitching and multiple colors in the patch for $75. Or even just the base select draft picks. Does have the RC shield, which is important, and a rookie auto. I like his penmanship too with the two, two dots on his last name there. $28 in auction today. People are even snagging the base score of him for a dollar to two dollars. And once again, you can find him out of some of those packs from the National Convention. Here's one of a silver pack, purple out of 25 going for $75. The reason why these are viable because you have such a limited supply right now. You also have official designations from Panini, rookie card shields, serial numbering, pro uniform, pro logos. This is going to make it popular and desirable. $75, very solid transaction. Here's a quick takeaway for you from the Bucks game. Baker Mayfield is on track to start week one. I think he's pretty much locked in, fully resting in this game. Kyle Trask played. Uh, John Wolfer got hurt. So getting more optimistic about the potential for the Bucks. The potential. There is a pathway there. I may have to buy some Baker. But um, I'm also interested in Trey Palmer, rookie wide receiver there. Does have a very good athletic profile. Made an explosive catch. And his stock is slowly going up. Of course, still going to be bare on the depth chart but right now in preseason when these are the highlights for these players this is the time for them to shine this is why their stock is going up right now all that could change whenever week one comes around and that's why number seven is Dorian Thompson Robinson, backup quarterback for the Cleveland Browns. But he's a rookie. He was drafted in the fifth round. This guy should have never obviously slid to the fifth round because he has been probably the best quarterback throughout the duration of the preseason. He's got mobility. He's got quickness. He's got grit, toughness. This guy has got it going on right now. And you can see that his score base 
rookie autos are selling for about $75 to $44. Great example of why you want to a lot of times sell and I buy it now, trying to time those auctions. That guy definitely cost some money. Another one at 60. So that kind of definitely got 60 to 75 for that card. So in comparison, let's look at Tanner McKee, who is competing for the backup job on the other side of the field in that game with the Eagles. Uh, he's competing against Marcus Mariota. His base score rookie auto, $12.50. Well, he hasn't nearly had the impact that DTR has had in the preseason. Yes, Tanner McKee is interesting, but when week one rolls around, obviously both of these guys are going to be obscure, that, and, and, and that's why you really want to sell these DTRs now, uh, if you ask me, because of him being relegated back to backup duties behind Deshaun Watson, and then also more sets being released for him throughout the duration of the season, which uh, dilutes his supply and makes it harder to move these scorecards for the premium that they're going for now. Now, I'm sure you Giants fans are outraged that Daniel Jones is down here at number eight, but... You know, he is 2019 rookie. He's had to come around a lot for the hobbyists to get back in on him. But he looked really sharp early on in this game. He completed eight of his nine pass attempts for 69 yards and a touchdown. His chemistry with new tight end Darren Waller may have Giants fans excited for the regular season. We're also going to talk about the rookie Jalen Hyatt. But look at the um, Optic Hollow PSA 10, 135. We already know that's like a, a $350 card for guys like Jalen Hurts. You saw the Jordan Love Optic Hollow being a $150 card. And that draft class from 2020 has a much higher supply of different rookie cards than 2019. We also have some bigger transactions like this flawless out of 25 RPA PSA 9, $1,500 listed somebody cashed out at right under twelve hundred dollars but look go back to one out of 15 that sold at the beginning of august before all this started five hundred and ten dollars so look at that double up on a card of a little bit lesser quality if you ask me massive massive uh, increase there in the values of daniel jones and that's in the rare tier so that's the kind of potential that these rare Daniel Jones cards, even a field level silver, which has some pretty good scarcity around it, 180. So when you compare that to Kyler Murray, he's like right there, finally starting to eclipse Kyler Murray's values, which he should be. And that is what the hyper relevancy factor does for your cards. Now, rookie Jalen Hyatt, who had the most fantasy points in this game, has proven that he is going to be a problem for opposing defenses. You can see his base score rookie auto going for $25. He was a target leader in this game. He also racked in four of those uh for those five targets for 35 yards, 8.8 yards per reception, including a 33-yard touchdown. And across the board, his prices are much higher than what the floor is. Legacy RPA at a 249 here, $48. The floor for that card somewhere around 20. Darren Waller's market heating up a little bit, uh, but not a whole lot. You know, he's a 2015 rookie, so he's going to have to do more with the same opportunity as a guy like Dalton Kincaid just because of the fact he's been around for much longer. Now, he can be a part of a big movement with the Giants. Uh, laddering up in the power rankings if they come out of the gates here and they really blow a lot of people's socks off. But we got a good look at what the first team offense is going to look like with the Giants. It can be very good. Of course, a lot of that goes back to Brian Dable. We got some great starting time from Patrick Mahomes over the weekend against the Cardinals where he went for 10 for 15, 105 yards and a touchdown with 109 QB rating, but guess who his favorite wide receiver target was once again? This guy, Rashi Rice, rookie, got nine targets, eight receptions, 94 yards, 11.8 yards per reception, a 38-yard long play where he was able to generate significant yards after the catch. Rashi Rice, the target leader in this game. I think Rashi Rice could be a big problem for opposing defenses in the NFL. Patrick Mahomes could definitely be targeting him for some nice spike games. You get that Kansas City bonus. It looks like some of the hype has cooled off because compared to Jalen Hyatt right now, the uh, Rashi Rice score 
rookie auto 1051 when Jalen Hyatt's got that $25 one. Now, Rashi Rice does have some more cards. I think it's a little bit of that Kansas City bonus. Uh, he he was printed in the, the rookie premier hollow. He's got instants. See, there's a $29.99 going for over $20. So that sound that is way more indicative. Here's a $99.95 best offer accepted. Uh, legacy blue out of 35 incredible transaction to really showcase how much hype rashi rice does have right now that card ultimately selling for 80 but what's unbelievable is check this out guys just eight days prior someone was able to snipe this same card in auction for 30 dollars turned around over doubled their money almost 2.5x their money on that that was an incredible flip someone made on the rashi rice so you can see why his hype continues to be very high for his draft capital, for his rookie status. Of course, we've got an honorable mention in this video for Jackson Smith Najigba. He is the real deal, guys. Had a great showing this past week in preseason. He only played nine passing snaps, solo, but he totaled three receptions for 58 yards and a first down in the first half. Some people will pay crazy money right now for a redemption XRC out of 99. It is going to be autoed as well, so they paid several hundred dollars. Here's a beautiful futures with a lovely double patch here. Got a rookie auto. Also have gold cracked ice. That is not yellow diamond, my friend. That is gold cracked ice out of 10, and that's why your card sold for $281. All right, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know who I left off the list. Who would you like to have seen on this top 10 list? I'm just going to go through a couple other takeaways that I have. I think Jalen Tolbert for the Dallas Cowboys is making a real case to be their wide receiver four, which make, means he makes the roster and actually maybe gets some playing time this year. So I'm not totally out on him. Also, rookie quarterback Aiden O'Connell for the Las Vegas Raiders could potentially be this year's Brock Purdy. This guy is showing a very accurate arm, a very good arm strength, and decision-making skills. So if anything happens to Jimmy G, Aiden O'Connell's cards are going to take off there. Russell Wilson is still struggling. I'm definitely now at this point getting concerned and trying to just break even. I think you should sell Russell Wilson now. I am extremely worried about this starting Denver Broncos offense. I, th I think it's going to be average. Trey Lance and Sam Darnold's stock both go down. They both look so-so. They both threw interception. Brock Purdy is healthy. He's back. He's playing, guys. Brock Purdy is going to be their locked-in starter. So he is the guy that's going to ascend there, if anything. Now, we could see another team absolutely fall off whether it's a quarterback injury or whether their quarterback turns out to be totally a dud like Ritter or how for prime example they could potentially trade for a guy like Trey Lance maybe um the Vikings run defense looks really bad uh their their starting run defense could be really bad this year I am attacking this year any offenses that are playing the Vikings which, therefore, gets me even more optimistic about Baker Mayfield. Week one, we play the Vikings. I think a running backs could have a big impact, whether it's Rashad White. I think Sean Tucker, the rookie, looks pretty solid as well. Tajay Spears and Julius Chestnut behind Derrick Henry both look locked in as a, a handcuff role behind Derrick Henry. Will Anderson, man, once again with that Texans defense. Dude, that guy's going to be pretty dang good this year. The Texans defense could be pretty good this year. So I would pick up pieces of that Texans defense. In the football card world, guy, they've got the defensive lore around them. They've got the defensive-minded head coach. Now is the time to strike on Will Anderson. The Jags running back room is deep. To Ernest Johnson continues to prove that he is a hard guy to tackle, man. He broke several tackles in this game over the weekend. Him and Tank both look incredible. ETM better be careful. This is turning into a little bit of a potential rotation. This running back room for the Jags is deep. I like it. Rookie Andre Los Sivas continues to hog the ball and impress because he's getting open. He's making plays for the Cincinnati Bengals. Carolina's offensive line struggles again. Bryce Young could be in for a rough go in his rookie season without pass protection. This Eagles running back rotation is still somewhat of a mystery to me. Um, although Gamewell still seems to be their RB1, it could be uh, on a rotation here. All right, guys, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Reminder, we've got a video coming out later tonight. 
And uh, tomorrow, for patrons, only a patron-exclusive video, my favorite targets, and the specific listings, like getting in the weeds, helping you guys succeed. Let's go. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.